down innings, but they just kept coming. Right? No, no doubt. And you know, especially the way we got dominated last night, you know, by the fastball. You know, Detmers dominates everybody, and, and certainly it starts with his fastball. But I think we were all disappointed, especially early in the game. Great that we we were able to uh, foul some pitches off later, run the pitch count up on him. But that was, you know, credit Mike Clement and you know the you know, challenge into the guys today that offensively, you know, we we have to be better against the fastball. And, and what a challenge today to face Blake Miller, you know, another top 20 pitcher in the country and with a big time fastball. And uh, certainly you know, today the guys you know, got some better swings off on the fastball. Kind of what you envision when you have an opening to clean up hitter and you sound the Juco player of the year to come out. Yeah, the you no, know, you're, you're exactly right, and it doesn't always work that way. But uh, and he had a tough fall. You know, you know we've talked about it. Uh, but just proud, you know, you're a great kid and you know, just just uh, just a joy. You know, that's one of the things you, know, you talk about being a college coach. I mean, you know, he's fun. You know, if you, if you got that with enough, you know, interviews, but he's just fun, loves the game. And, uh, you know, and, and he's starting to, you know, feel a little more comfortable, obviously, up there. What goes Mike, through your head when you're there? What through your mind there, there with uh, being played there late? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the, the, the truth is you try, you know, you try to pitch them like you pitch everybody else. And uh, the, 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 the truth is that, you know, for, in a different situation, you know, you got a guy that, you know, was, wasn't in the lineup last year. Form Lady who's a guy that's played a lot. So we, we had to attack Ben, you know, and, and, and go after him and, you know, win or lose, you know, trying to go after him. If it was a different situation, we might have went break a ball or something, 3-2. Uh, ball out of zone, but you know, thankfully, you know, uh, for for me and us, you know, uh, he chased it. Does it get easier as a dad since you went through that with Drew last year? You know, it's it's really, and and I don't mean this mean to you guys. It's really this is what's the tough part. But I don't think actually playing is, is the big deal. It's the questions and you know the scrutiny and and, and you know those types of things. And, and again, I know you got to ask the questions, but that's I think more of the. Uh, the, the pain or the difficulty. It's, it's not necessarily playing because, again, I don't pitch it. You know, he, he just wears a uniform. He's one of, you know, 35 guys on the team. And that, it sounds like coaches speak, but it's the truth. You know, you try to play the game straight up like you would play it every every day. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, they have success. He almost won the game for him in the seventh. And, you know, luckily, it, you know, hit off uh, Miller's leg. So um, that's just part of it. A couple pretty good games to start the year for Chatnier. Just what have you seen from him to start his freshman year? Just like he's been all fall. I mean, uh, in early spring, just fearless, just another guy that loves the game. And, and when they play, you know, a lot of them are talented out of this class. But when you play with that confidence and that, that kind of freedom and passion, you know, good things happen. And so, um, you know, obviously, he's gotten off to a great start. It's been a big plus for us. What do you think of Gunner today? Thought he was good. Thought he was good. It's a good offense over there. It's 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 tough. You know they're really they're pesky. They're tough with two strikes. He really located his fastball today really well. You know the slider was okay, um, but 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 the fastball was was really dominant on both sides of the plate. In your mind, what do you have available tomorrow? I, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd be lying to you right now if I started running games. It's, it's tough right now. So we'll, we'll look. Um, you know, most of the guys, it's tough to throw twice. So, you know, some of the guys, I don't think it's hard to imagine. You can go back and look at the numbers and, and stuff. But we, you know, this is, it's different when you run out there. And so that's why I'm proud. You know, the thing of getting lost in here is Braden Foresight. You know, to be able to you know, run out here with the tying run on base and the winning run at the plate and, and get off the field. You know, it's the number one team in the country. It's, uh, you know, you grow up in series like this. So, you know, thankfully this one went our way. Is Derek on account tomorrow or is he just kind of free? Well, they're, they're all on account. I mean, uh, you know, we, we're trying to keep, you know, this first weekend, trying to keep everybody, you know, over 90 pitches. And we realize that, you know, there might be a time where there's a certain hitter they may, you know, may get above 90 a few pitches. But, you know, uh, I don't see, you know, that happening for him tomorrow, you know, to try to keep him at 90 below. And, and then we'll go to the bullpen. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.